Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't, and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. So today we're looking at another Ore Beetle deck from Battle Styles. For simplicity, you can click on the link in the description below or the card above for an in-depth look at the Ore Beetle base build and strategy. But in short, we'll be using Ore Beetle's Evomancy engine for this build. This will allow us to easily bench stage 2 Pokemon from our deck without having to go through its evolution line. The base build we're using today has been modified however. Instead of using Chimeco, we'll be using Cramorant V as a substitute. And we're still sticking with the 5 basic Pokemon base build, 2 Cramorant V and 3 Blip Bugs. So our Ore Beetle setup will be very consistent in early game. Cramorant V can use its B Catch attack for just one colorless energy. You can search your deck for any two cards and put them into your hand. This is definitely a lot better than Chimeco because we're not limited to the type of cards we can get from the deck. And not only that, we can also use Cramorant V to attack. For 3 colorless energy, Spit Shot can deal 160 damage to any one of your opponent's Pokemon. And since it's a colorless Pokemon, you can fit this in any type of deck along with Ore Beetle. But do watch out for its weakness to Lightning. And since this is the first time for me to feature Cramorant V in an Ore Beetle build, I thought of just using it as one of my main attackers. We can evolve Cramorant V to Cramorant V Max. It has 320 HP with just one attack, Max Jet. For 3 colorless energy, you flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon, and it does 80 damage times the number of heads resulted from your coin flips. And I've also decided to play this on expanded format because it opens up more options to increase the strength of our Cramorant VMAX. I'll be using Rillaboom with the Voltage Speed ability, allowing us to search our deck for two Grass Energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. And then I'll be utilizing Venusaur with the Jungle Totem ability, which doubles any Grass Energies attached to your Pokemon. So with this combination, just imagine how much energy we can attach to Cramorant VMAX in order for us to potentially deal huge amount of damage to our opponents. But not only that, one other Pokemon that synergizes well with Cramorant VMAX is Colossal. Because it's also a stage 2, it fits in nicely in an Orbital build. It has 180 HP with a Coal Cannon attack. Starting with just one colorless energy, you flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon and it does 90 damage times the number of heads resulted from your coin flips. It's practically the same attack as Cramorant VMAX only it's slightly stronger by 10 damage. And I've also added one Sceptile. It has 140 HP with a Power of Nature ability, which prevents any damage dealt by Ultra Beasts to any of your Pokemon as long as they have Grass Energy attached to them. But its attack is also really strong. For one Grass Energy, Powerful Storm will deal 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. And again, with Rillaboom to Energize and Venusaur to Multiply Energy, this too can potentially deal unbelievable damage against our opponents. But what is an Ore Beetle build without Dustnor? It has a Spectral Breach ability which shuts down special energies making them into a single colorless energy and completely removes the special energies effects. Just remember that this affects both you and your opponent's Pokemon. And for good measure, I've added a Vile Plume with the Irritating Pollen ability, disabling both players from using any item cards from their hand. And the combination between Dustnor and Vileplume are actually perfect for shutting down the infamous Ultra Necrozma build that is widely used in the expanded format for easy wins. And I'll showcase that in this video. And you should still be able to use most of the item cards in this deck because most of them are for the Ore Beetle setup anyways. And Vileplume won't come into play until Ore Beetle gets set up. But with that said, we'll be using mostly supporter cards to help us along the way. The other supporter cards and item cards in the base build pretty much stays the same, but among the more unique supporter cards included in this particular build are Acerola. Uh, this one you can put one of your Pokemon that has damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into your hand. And this is especially great for avoiding Cramorant VMAX from getting knocked out. Uh, Birdkeeper will be acting as our switch card and will also help us to draw cards. And Brock's Grit will act as our Ordinary Rod which allows you to shuffle 6 in any combination of Pokemon and energy back to your deck. And finally I'm using Guzma which allows you to choose which one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to go into their active but you also have to switch one of your bench Pokemon to the active. 
and I'll be using two floatstone tool cards which will give its user free retreats. And that's pretty much it. Again, this build is for the expanded format. The deck list will be in the description below. Uh, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. All right, so I've been testing out this uh, new deck of mine. Uh, build this new build with Orbital using Cramorant V. So in this matchup, this is the perfect start, I gotta say. Cramorant V in the active and one blip bug um on the bench minus the energy we we just need one energy uh to put on blip bug to start and then in our next turn uh which our opponent does nothing which is okay with me um is just get um viridian forest so that we can get an energy for cramorant so let's just get rid of that and then we're just gonna attach an energy on cramorant and evolve into orbital um, our opponent can't attack right now so might as well just use B catch um, we definitely need a triple acceleration here and let's see we need those stage twos in the deck I'll just get a float stone we can um, retreat we can attach it on crime V so it can retreat for free and we don't have to discard its energy because we might be able to use that to attack. So, uh, the great thing about Cramorant V, unlike um, um, Chimaco, is Chimaco is limited only to support cards and also uh, another Pokemon that you can search in the deck and then put it in your hand. But with Cramorant, you can just get any two cards in your deck, anything, and then put it in your hand. So, uh, one of the downside with Cramorant V, especially if you're up against a lightning type deck, uh, especially um, Pikachu and Zekrom tag teams are really popular. Uh, they can just knock it out really easily and they get two prizes. So uh, the, the, the liability is high, but at the same time, it's, it's a lot better. It works a lot better than Chimeco, I gotta admit. Because you can just get whatever card you you need in the deck and then and then play that, or uh, put that uh, into your hand right away. So that's one of the things that I think separates Cramorant V uh, from Chimeco. So who we're up against here is an ADP Zashin deck, uh, and they are using uh, the Dragon Energies. So uh, we can retreat. And then energize our ore beetle. And we're just gonna evil man see. And we're definitely gonna use Dust Nor. And then put Venusaur and Vile Plume, which stops their uh, use of item cards. And this will actually slow them down a lot. First of all, uh, all they can do is attach an energy. They can't use Metal Saucer to accelerate Zash and V. So they're stuck. Uh, with the energies that they have. Uh, ADP, uh, its um, energy is turned into colorless and it needs water energy and the metal energy to attack. So even if they switch into it, they're not gonna be able to attack or even use, they can't, I mean, they can use their alter creation, but it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be the full on alter creation where they can take an extra price card. So um, the combination between Dustnor and also Vileplume uh, is, is perfect here. And so we can confidently just leave Orbital in, in, the, in the active. And here, we're just gonna use Evil Man C again and I'm gonna get Rillaboom. And I'm just gonna use Cramorant VMAX as my main attacker. And uh, we're just gonna leave it at that. I, I don't think that they're, I don't think that any of their Pokemon can knock it out at the moment. So we should be safe. What I could do is even use Guzma in our next turn and start hitting for that ADP. Um, but we're just gonna go all out, I think. And we have six chances here, <laughs> and then just get three prizes for this ADP. Let's go. 
Oof. Alright, well, we got two heads, 160. We should be able to knock it out in the next turn. Um, I don't know if they play water energy. They're probably dependent on that dragon energy to give them that water uh, water energy. But because we have Dusnar, it's turned off. So they can, probably can't use Ultra Creation full on anyway. So uh, it's going to increase their attack, but that's pretty much it. And any of their Pokemon won't be able to knock out our Cramorant VMAX. And uh, even if they knock it out, uh, we're just going to switch into... Uh, or beetle and probably just get Colossal so that that will be our next uh, attacker, but right now they are handicapped uh, They really can't do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another energy uh, And I'm gonna voltage beat uh, two more No, I'll just add one more one more and Just use max jet Yeah, I, I want to leave enough so that if we do end up having to use colossal five man oh, look at that <laughs> 400 damage let's go um so we get three prizes for that and we get another colossal so i don't want to uh, expend all of my energies because if they do end up uh, knocking out our crime rat v max then i won't have any energy to use uh on our next attacker so we'll just leave it at that um they are immune uh their Zamazenta V is not affected by Cramorant's attack. So we'll just have to find a way out of this. Let's see. So we're using all of our, our Pokemon uh, with abilities so we can... Um, we can use it as attack against our, our opponent. Unfortunately, right now, uh, there's not much we can do. Um, I'll, I'm just switching into Orbital. I'm hoping that they can knock it out because Zamazenta V can... Um, you know what? No. I, we need Orbital. So, I think Dustnar. We can, we can sacrifice Dustnar. Because right now, they don't have dragon energy for and we don't have to worry about ADP anyways so uh, Dustnar I think is has already done its job for the meantime and it's the only Pokemon I see that we can kind of remove so that uh, we can make space for for Colossal. We just have to find a way to get Colossal back into our deck so we can use uh, Evo Mency. Um, let me see. Um, what do we get? Ooh. I mean, we could use Cramorant. Right? We could use Cramorant. Yeah, let's just do that. I think I'm just going to do that. Um, let me attach an energy so we can retreat into Cramorant. And we're just going to voltage beat two energies. That's all we need anyway. Spit shot one of these, the Denes, for two prizes. So that'll keep them in their toes. Uh, either switch out, because now they're they're afraid that their next Dene will be knocked out. So they have to do something about it. Uh, either they put Zashin V in the active, but then even if they do that, we can just knock it out with the uh, with uh, Cramorant V Max. But they don't know that we <laughs> they don't know that we don't have any more um, energies. All right, so they they just keep attacking. I guess they're uh, putting their confidence on. Ooh, yeah, no, we can't use <laughs> only if we could use triple acceleration. Um, let's see, let's just use Skyla then. And ooh, we can even use um, we can use Acerola to get uh, to remove Cramorant, or I think 
I could just get Guzma. So even if they knock out our Cramorant V, it's fine. And then our next turn, we can use uh, Cramorant V Max to knock out whichever one of those in the bench we want. I think that's the best option we got. Um, let's see. Uh, I could put an energy on Orbital so that just in case they have something else in mind, um, we'll be ready to just Evo Man see another stage two on our bench. So I just uh, making sure we don't have any more energy in the deck and we don't. So they get two prices for that, that's fine. But uh, I think we got this. So I'll just put Orbital in the active and we're just gonna Guzma. Let's see, who are we gonna target? Uh, I think I'll just target the easiest one. Okay, so this is for sure, I think this is guaranteed. Six, so that's 12. 12 coin flips. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is... That's overkill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 480. All right, good game. So, nice. Good combo, man. Good game. All right, so let's uh, move on to this next match. We got a dragon-type dragon, uh, dragon type box. Um, nope, Cramorant V goes in the active as always on your first turn. Blip bug in the bench. So we can use big catch in the, um, in the very beginning. Okay, I see I see some um, Garbodors that turns off energy. This could be it. Um, yeah, I, I've I've been facing off a lot of alternate Necrozmas in in expanded, which is a really cheap deck. It turns off your energy or uh, your abilities. It turns off if they use the Silent Lab. It turns off the abilities um, of basic type Pokemon. There it is, Ultra Necrozma deck so uh, the key here is speed they're very fast they can set up their alternate crossma in in two turns or so so what they'll need is alternate crossma they need the dragon energy double dragon energy and then they'll need to set up um, a garbodor line but they they'll put the basic pokemon there first in their bench and then they have to attach um, a tool card for the ability to work. So we know that they have Silent Lab. I'm just gonna use uh, Level Ball here to get another, another Blip Bug and set up two just in case they knock out one of the uh, one of our uh, Blip Bug. Uh, they should be able to knock out our Cramorant V because he has 200 HP. They're only hitting for two. Uh, they're only hitting for 170. Um, I could save Skyla, but I think I'll just uh, get a rare candy. Uh, just in case and I'm gonna be catch here I don't think Ultra Necrozma builds use Marnie so I think we can confidently just leave it there I'm gonna get Radiant Force and Triple Acceleration so we need that right away so on this next turn is really what I'm afraid what you want to watch out for is really their Garbodor you don't want them to set up their Garbodor we don't care about that Silent Lab because we can always just use um, um, Viridian Force to kick that out so that we can um, prevent them from attacking. And at the same time, but we don't have to worry about it affecting our Stage 2s because they're not basic. So our Stage 2 Pokemon can still use their abilities. Who we really, um, what's going to be a problem is if they set up the Garbodor line, which turns off all abilities. It doesn't matter if you're stage two, stage one, or basic Pokemon. It just turns off all abilities. So um, we don't want them to set that up. And to do that, this, you have to be able to use um, your Orbeetle to set up and make sure, <laughs> hopefully, none of the essential cards that we need is in uh, the price card so I'm just gonna Acerola 
remove that silent lab, uh, put this treble acceleration on orbital, and what we need is vial plume to stop them from attaching tool card dust nor to turn off their double dragon energy and we're just going to get rillaboom so that we can start energizing our attacker so we can use um we can use cramorant as our attacker for for this matchup but right now everything we just shut down the alternate cross deck that's it they can't I mean, they can still use Silent Lab if they want to, but then their Double Dragon Energy is turned off, so they can't attack. They can set up their Garbodor, but then even if they evolve it, they can't attach tool cards because they can't use item cards thanks to Vile Plume. So what I'm going to do here is just retreat, and then we're just going to attack with Cramorant. Let's see. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, I forgot we didn't have... Venusaur, so we actually needed three energies, but that's fine. We'll just be catch and Let's see um, I wish I had a scoop up net now I think I'll probably just change that up a scoop up net instead of Acerola Because uh, I have two Acerolas in this build. I think a scoop up net would be good But for now, I'm just gonna get Cramorant VMAX and Skyla just in case we need it and we can just start uh, attacking full on with uh, Cramorant V Max. But yeah, our, our opponent is uh, frozen. Alternate Cross deck is uh, you're you're out of here. <laughs> okay, so our opponent uh, gives up. Uh, they're completely shut down. There's nothing they can do to attack, and we'll just win the game automatically. Good game. All right, so moving on, uh, we're against the uh, water. Water build here. Water build. So again, Cramorant V. It's good. We have five basic Pokemons in this deck. Two Cramorant Vs and three Blip Bugs. And that's it. Um, since we are using um, Venusaur, it multiplies the grass energy attached to our Pokemon. So um, it, it really fits in really nicely with the Cramorant uh, V Max. Since we're using Cramorant V, why not use Cramorant V Max as our attacker as well? And it, atta it attacks for so much that we don't even care about GX or even uh, V Maxes. So uh, even against this Intellion V Max deck that we're up against, uh, I mean, we aren't expanded, so you just never know. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna use B Catch. And we're gonna get an evolution here. You know what? I'll just get rare candy because we have evolution incense, and we have triple acceleration. I could just get float, float stone, so we can get Cramorant out of the active. We could do that. Yeah, that should be fine. We are good. So we're up against. Um, Intellion VMAX deck with Frost Moth to energize. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, and we don't have to worry about them putting energy on our hand because uh, once we set up our Rillaboom, it should be easy to energize our Pokemon. So for now, we'll put the Float Stone so we can start setting up our stage 2's ASAP. And let's see. I think I'm going to retreat into this one with the uh, with the damage counter on it. Because it's... Uh, if they evolve into Intel and VMAX and they knock it out, that's fine. So we'll just use Rare Candy. Evolve it. Use Triple Acceleration. We'll have 3. Uh... Three stage twos in our bench. Let's see, let's Evo Man see. Uh, Dustnor, we don't need that much. Venusaur for sure. Vileplume could be effective. And then Rillaboom. Um, I don't know if item card is, item block is that essential. I think I'll just go with Colossal. So we have a secondary attacker. 
Uh, we can snipe their bench using Cramorant V. And at the same time, uh, also use be able to use Colossal and do 10 extra damage on each heads on our coin flip um, more than Cramorant VMAX. So uh, this is, I, you know what? I, I'm proud of this combination, Colossal and Cramorant VMAX together. You know, why not be able to use... You can only do this with an orbital build. Basically, put two of the same, you know, uh, two greatest coin flippers, <laughs> coin flip attackers, uh, which is, they have pretty similar attack, basically. Colossal is a lot stronger, but it's a stage two. But you can easily set it up with orbital. And Cram since you're using Cramorant V uh, as a base, as part of our base build for Orbital, you know, it's just it's just it's just naturally there. So why not use Cramorant VMAX as well as a, your attacker? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, energizing our Colossal. I think we're just gonna do that, and I could just try and attack this Intellion, see what we get. Okay, 270 for three heads. That's not too bad. And we have Cramorant V, so we can snipe it. Even if they retreat with it, um, we should be okay. Um, they could try attacking with Intellion V Max. Uh, they won't be able to knock out our Colossal, but it will leave a big dent. So let's see, let's see what our opponent does here. Um, if they do attack with Inteleon V Max, I'm pretty sure they're gonna attack our Cramorant V so that they can leave, um, you know, with the telescopic sight, that's 90 damage, which is pretty significant. And over, um, in the long run, they're gonna get two prizes. They do hard retreat. But now, you know what, in, in our next few turns... Oh, okay. So just they just decide to attack our um, Orbital, which is fine because now we can try... Oh, you know what? Let's, <laughs> let's do this. We have a triple acceleration. Let's go. So that's six. That's nine. And let's see. Voltage beat, two more. So that's 13. Right? 13, 13 uh, coin flips? Oh yeah, 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 seven, seven, eight, oh my god, <laughs> nine, <laughs> 810 damage, oh my gosh. Well, there you have it guys, Venusaur, <laughs> Rillaboom, with Colossal, stage twos. Nothing will survive. So it doesn't matter what they do here. They can knock out our Colossal. Now they healed, but it's not going to be enough. All we have to do is basically um, use Cramorant to snipe, sn to attack this uh, Italian VMAX, and that'll get us our last three prizes. Yeah. I don't know what else they could do here that, you know, they'll be able to win. Um, what they could do if they have a Mew is uh, retreat with this Intellion V Max, but it doesn't matter. We have Guzma. We have everything that we need to win against this match. I don't know what else they can do. They can stamp us. Okay, if they have a stamp, stamp to three, get rid of our Guzma. But if everything that we have is retained, that's it. We'll win the game. So they're, they're digging for it because it's it's very crucial that they get what they need. <laughs> All right. Oh, good game. Good game. <laughs> good game. <sighs> All right. So let's move on to our next match. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Silent Lab again. Alright. So, Cramorant V... You know what? 
we've been re getting really good starts here. Um, I have to admit, um, I am selective of which videos that I, I upload. And um, there, this, this deck build is prone to uh, a lot of donk, donking. Uh, which means that on our on my opponent's uh, first turn, they can knock out Blip Bug and then they'll just win. The most crucial part of this deck build is really to stay alive and be able to set up your Orbital on turn two. So we're up against another Ultra Necrozma deck. Um, see, this is the most common common deck. It's really strong. I I I I, I gotta admit. Um, I, I have four four copies of Ultra Nec I, sh I should probably build one actually and try. I honestly have not tried building an Ultra Necrozma deck. I'm sure it's it, it's pretty easy to set up and it's easy to win against your opponent because it shuts off all their abilities and things like that. Um, there are there are some instances where it is a little bit harder to win with Ultra Necrozma, but for the most part, because it's a, such an easy setup that uh, a lot of people use it uh, they also have ADP which could get them extra prizes when when they knock out uh, their opponents so again against Ultra Necrozma we're, let's see if we can uh, demonstrate again how we can shut off shut down this Ultra Necrozma I have lost to a few Ultra Necrozma because first of all if you <laughs> the, the the shuffling it is the most difficult situation because if if for instance your um, if your dustnor is prized and if your vile plume is prized either one of those that's it you know you um, there's a big chance you're gonna lose because they're gonna start attacking uh, on their next turn so they're able to use Altered Creation, which is really bad. So now they can uh, get extra prizes. And they're attacking for extra. So I'm just going to use that. And anyways, we can't use it because of their Chaotic Swall. And I'm just going to use Evolution Incense so that I can get an Ore Beetle. This way we can beat Catch and just get the essentials we need here. We get our rare candy. Um, or actually... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Um, so what I could do is use Bird or Bird Keeper. Uh, they won't be able to knock out our Cramorant V. Hopefully they don't switch out. Okay. So we'll survive. That's fine. So they're setting up their Garbodor, which will sh shut off all abilities, which is very bad for our deck because we, we rely a lot on uh, abilities here. So we need, hopefully we have everything we need. I'm just going to use Acerol, I think, instead of Bird Keeper. So we'll rare candy into Orbital and we'll uh, triple acceleration here. So here we go. We're just going to shut down. They're, even their ADP is using uh, special energy. So as long as we have Dustnor here, we should be fine. So let's do There it is. One. And then we got Bioplume. And we got Venusaur. So I think I'll set up Venusaur for now. Because even if we don't set up uh, Rillaboom, we can just manually attach. And it's it's going to be doubled. The, the grass energies will be doubled. So... Uh, the only thing is now with Ultra Necrozma, uh, they can still attack if they have Silent Lab, which is uh, because with the uh, um, Ultimate Ray attack, they uh, they were able to attach basic energies on Ultra Necrozma. So um, even with Vile Plume, they can use um, they can use Stadium cards because it's not considered an item or tool card. Uh, so they can still use one. So I'm just going to go ahead and Evil Man see a Rillaboom. So um, we can. I'm just going to use Cramorant as our main attacker. And I'm now now with the uh, with Vile Plume. I'm not too worried about them setting up their Garbodor because um, 
they can't use any item cards thanks to uh, vile plume so i'm just gonna spit shot we only need two we basically have four grass energies thanks to uh venusaur i'm just gonna start targeting adp that'll get us three prizes and uh next we're just gonna focus on um these alternate Krasmas. so it depends on how persistent our opponent is if they think they have something against our um, our <laughs> perfect setup here, the ultimate Ultra Necrozma shutdown build. <laughs> so we're just gonna knock out their ADP for three prizes, and thankfully they haven't gotten any prizes yet because we've completely shut down their deck. <laughs> so. Uh, it is not 100% successful. Again, if any of those essential parts are uh, prized, you know, it's not going to work. We This will not work. So you need Vile Plume, Dark Snore to, to make this, uh, this setup happen against Ultra Necrozma. So, okay, so that's it. There you go. <laughs> Good game. All right, moving on to our next match. Yeah, I, I'm really happy of how this build turned out. So um, I have some viewers that's been commenting that they don't have access to uh, Chimeco. So I, I tried to put on Cramorant V as an alternative to Chimeco. And, and sure enough, it's been working really, really well. Um, again, I, I, um, other than the liability of giving up two prizes instead of one, um, the fact that you can search for any two cards in your deck is actually really, really good. Um, and um, being able to set this up, this Cramorant, I just uh, had to go for a Cramorant VMAX. Had to go for a Venusaur for multiplying the grass energies and also uh, being able to use a Colossal because it's a stage two. Why not put it in an orbital deck that you know, synergizes well with Cramorant VMAX, Rillaboom, and multiplication of grass energies, which makes it happen, makes it, makes it possible to do tremendous amount of damage against our opponent in expanded format. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm really happy with this build and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to what other builds I can do with Cramorant V. And I'm not sure if you can make a Cramorant V Max uh, synergy between a lot of Stage 2s. But Colossal definitely synergizes well with Cramorant V Max and the whole setup of this uh, Stage 2. Because uh, Venusaur, you can easily put it in the bench. Rillaboom can easily set that up. So I, I'm 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 really happy with the synergy of the whole this whole thing, and the fact that you can shut down Ultra Necrozma, one of the um, ones that I really don't like facing. <laughs> so uh, with Green's Exploration, I'm just gonna use Pokemon Communication, put the, one of our Pokemon back in the deck. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Blip Bug in the very beginning, but that's fine. We can just use another B Catch uh, and get the necessary cards we need. Um, we need Orbital for sure and a Triple Acceleration and we're just gonna do that and we can even use one of our support cards we don't have to use Pierce and really Pierce is not as essential anymore although I still keep it because um, you know just in case uh, because with B Catch you can just grab whatever card you need to set up your Orbital so again Cramorant V has been uh, such a it's such a great Hard to have in the orbital, orbital build, uh, orbital build. So uh, definitely, uh, I'm definitely gonna recommend Cramorant V um, in orbital builds as well. So let's go ahead and use our candy evolve into orbital, and we're gonna switch into uh, be active. I'm just gonna retreat and evil man C. Now we have. Four, we can put four. Definitely Dustnor, Vileplume, Venusaur, and Rillaboom. 
right? Yeah. So again, this will shut down their double dragon energy. They can't attack their, their next turn. And we're up against ADP. They also have Luke Metal. My goodness. Two of the worst. Two, two tier one GX tag teams. Put together. <laughs> you know. All they need is like Zashin and stuff like that. And they'll have like a ADP Luke Metal Zashin deck. And then they also have Malo and Lana. My goodness. <laughs> so. Uh, they opted for Alter Creation though. They want to e get extra prizes instead of high defense. Uh, that's an interesting concept though. Uh, being able to choose between higher defense or uh, offensive um, offensive stance against your opponent. Uh, for now, I'm going to use Bird Keeper. Ooh, Cramorant VMAX. Let's go. So we'll have four energies on Cramorant. That'll be eight, uh, eight chances. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> 480. Took care of that ADP. Just like that. We, you know what? With this deck, you don't even need Glimwood Tangle because you have so much energy because of Venusaur multiplying your, your, um, your grass energies just have so much chances of flipping a lot of heads and just knocking out anything anything uh, that comes in your way so they're gonna poison us and confuse with Koga's trap uh, but that's okay we have a bird keeper we can just switch into or beetle then retreat back into Cramorant and we're just gonna keep attacking so let's do that, Bird Keeper. Then retreat back. I'm just gonna discard probably the triple acceleration. And then put one more energy, Max Jet. There's nothing that they could do to attack Cramorant V and actually knock it out. So we only needed one, but we got enough to hit for 240. And that'll get us one prize. That's it. We we just need uh, two more prizes to be able to win this game. I don't know if they're just centering their attacks or their strategy on ADP and Luke Metal. I haven't seen any. any I haven't seen any, any other um, any other Pokemon that they could use for for offense. I'm surprised I didn't see any um, Zash and V's yet. They're gonna bust this order. Ooh. Oh, Venusaur, okay. But it's not gonna be enough for them to knock it out. Alright, again, we have Bird Keeper to switch into Cramorant. And I think I'm just gonna go all out here. Six, eight, so that's what? 16? 16 coin flips. Let's see what we get. Seven. What? <laughs> there you go. Five hundred and sixty damage. We we basically took down ADP in Look Metal in one game, guys. <laughs> Take that. All right, good game to our opponent. Orbital has done it again, making it possible for us to set up our stage two Pokemon easily. Being able to test out Cramorant V in place of Chimeco has been such an interesting development. Unlike Chimeco. Who only searches for support and Pokemon from the deck, Cramorant V can use its big catch attack to search for any two cards in the deck. So your Orbital setup will be a lot simpler for sure. The only downside is if your opponent can easily counter Cramorant V, making it a big liability because you'll be giving up two prize cards when they knock it out. But overall, it's been fairly consistent. And the synergy of this new Orbital build is just awesome. Cramorant V Max paired with its better half Colossal is so good giving you multiple options against different matchups. And although I wasn't able to showcase Sceptile much in these videos, I've been able to use it in some of my games and it's very powerful, just take my word for it. 
And what did you think of the Ultra Necrozma shutdown strategy using Dusnar and Vileplume? Let me know in the comments below. Overall, this deck is both destructive and disruptive, and I'm very proud of this deck. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay safe and have a great day.